What's up guys, today I'm back with another video and I'm going to be playing Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator, all that crap, that name is way too long. Okay, so what we did not touch in the last episode was unit customization. And I kind of had like a scenario I kind of wanted to do. I wanted to have like a king in here and then have guys defend it and the orcs again trying to attack. Except I'm going to fortify this a lot better and hopefully be able to stop the giant orcs. And our king, it's a chicken. I mean like you can't have an actual king. But little do the giant orcs know, this uh, this king, he's kind of he's kind of OP. He's got 10,000 health and a thousand damage and attack speed uh let's do times 10 and movement speed is going to be nothing because he's going to be still save unit the king so this king oh i mistyped this king is going to be chilling out in the uh in the in in the middle of the uh place and so we're gonna have giant orcs trying to kill the king where is he at is he what is he gonna be under oh is he under his own thing custom yeah the king okay guys one no i don't want 250 kings i want one single king and we're gonna have our little men try and protect him and if that doesn't work out then uh then the king's gonna have to kick everyone's ass and become a badass so our little chicken king is going right here and we're gonna put him up against the wall so what we had last time was 250 giant orcs attacking uh, I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna set up some battle and see what if we can defend against these giant orcs. Okay, guys. So this is what I made. I have. I'm actually gonna put this at 300 instead of 250 last, because last time I did 250, and I feel like this is a little bit stronger. So we got 100 or 200 archers. Never mind. I'm completely off. 200 archers right here. We have 300 Spartans. I think, right? Yeah, Spartans? No, we have 200 Spartans guarding Hell's Gate right here. And then we have, how many catapults? We got, like, you can read all the stuff right here. 25 catapults up on the line. 500 heavy knights right here. And we got a sneaky little uh, group of 300 wild men that are going to ambush and help out these uh, heavy knights. If this doesn't work out and they kill the king, I'm going to be very, very surprised. Let's see how this turns out, guys. Okay guys, this is the army right here. We got our 300 sneaky wild men, our catapults, our archers, our spartan army guarding the hell's gate, and of course, our little chicken. This guy is a beast, and he will kill anyone that gets close to him, but he's like a beast in disguise. No one knows he's a badass, so that's why he has all these men. But when the, uh, when the giant orcs break through this, if they do, he, they're gonna get fucked up, because that chicken is a baller. <laughs> okay, and then we got, I, I don't know how many I had, 500 heavy knights? So, and then, our, of course, 300 giant orcs. These guys are also pretty beast. But uh, we got ambushes, we got archers, catapults, I don't know how this is going to turn out. I feel like these catapults aren't going to be able to get any shots in, because the guys are going to be right here, and then that thing's right in the way. That might be a problem, I might have to move that, but let's just see how this runs out right now. Okay, we got our wild men running in, our giant orcs are going in, our catapults are actually getting some shots off, kind of. Archers are definitely hitting everyone right now. First orcs are making it to the heavy knights and plowing through them because of course the uh the giant orcs these little these little guys are getting stuck on the other side of the bridge or the water they're scared to go in the water maybe that's the weakness guys it's water well this guy's a baller he's like hey i ain't waiting for that shit i'm just gonna go right across okay how's the battle going uh our wild men are coming in behind right now hitting the orcs they have not killed anyone and they're getting demolished but you know we got 300 of them or 200 or something we have a lot of them so you know what we might we might actually be able to kill them our heavy knights are kind of holding up to be honest wild men are grouping up right now and we're getting a pretty good spread on the giant orcs which is going to help out the archers and stuff the the orcs have completely left alone the heavy knights which is kind of bad because i wanted these wild men to flank behind uh the orcs on the front line of the heavy knights have died and now it's a battle between the heavy knights or between the orcs and the wild men it looks like the wild men are actually doing good work on this the rest of the group is coming through right now the wild men are actually surprisingly kicking ass right now they're killing these giant orcs which is really good okay so we're getting we're getting the orcs thinned out a little bit some of them are going for the uh heavy knights and most of them are going for these wild men the last of the wild men are coming up i don't know guys 
I don't know. They've killed a lot, though. They've definitely killed a lot. Gave him some time for the catapults to hit him. But, uh, the last of the wild men, they're getting slaughtered. So are the orcs, though. Jeez, I did not think they were so strong. Oh, wow. The, uh, the heavy knights are about to get taken out. Let me get an aerial view. Heavy knights are getting close to getting taken out. And there's still a massive group of freaking giant orcs. I definitely did not think they would uh, kill so many. The wild men, I thought they would kill like way less. But uh, yeah, the orcs, the orcs definitely slaughtered them, which I expected to happen. And the last of them are going to be killed right now, the heavy knights. And then they just kill some catapults and some archers. And then they gotta deal with the Spartan, 200 strong Spartan army. And then the baller chicken. Where's the, where's, where's the chicken? Wait, wait. Is the chicken not on hold position? I thought the chicken was on hold position. Okay, whatever. Uh, the last of Heavy Knights just got slaughtered. The guys are spreading in and about to take out the archers and our catapults, which is kind of bad because we kind of need those. Maybe they can get some good damage off right now. Ooh, they're killing, they're killing some, but you know, they're going to get slaughtered. Oh, they're not getting any hits in, so maybe they'll keep killing? No. No, too many are coming through, guys. Too many are coming through. Hopefully some go, like, straight for the Spartans, because if they do that, then the archers can get a lot of good shots off of them. The catapults are pretty fine. They're getting some good shots since the uh, they're all going for the archers right now, which is nice. So hopefully they just keep going for the archers. The catapults can get a lot of shots off. Yeah, there's no way. Unless my chicken, my chicken, I thought he was pretty baller. I don't know, he might he might be pretty baller. So hopefully a chicken can do some good damage. But these orcs are still storming the freaking castle. Like, what stops the orcs? We need something crazy up in this biz. Oh, it looks like we have one giant orc that is heading for the Spartans, and he's dead. <laughs> and the archers had just died. The last of the catapults are going down right now, but not without a fight. Uh, I don't even think they're shooting. Okay, they're shooting a little bit. You know what? Holy hell. The giant orcs are swarming the Spartans right now. Whoa, flame drop. Swarming the Spartans. The Spartans are doing kind of a good job. Actually, no, they're doing a pretty good job right now. They're stopping these heavy, uh, those giant orcs. We might actually be able to survive this, guys. And we got a baller chicken hiding behind the Spartans right now. I believe the last of the catapults just died. And these are actually the... Never mind, I was going to say these are the last of the giant orcs, but uh, there's a giant herd right there. <laughs> okay, so hopefully Spartans can take out these giant orcs. They're actually killing them super fast. I didn't even upgrade these Spartans or anything. I'm actually going to speed this up a little bit. Oh, it just froze. Okay, I'm going to speed this up a little bit because it's taking forever. Uh, the Spartans are holding strong right now, guys. They might actually be able to take this. The last of the orcs are coming through right now, and there's still a good amount of Spartans, and we still have a ball of chicken. So, we might be able to win this battle, guys. I don't know, though. Uh, last of the Spartans are going down. Last of the Orcs are coming in, though. Uh, it's gonna be close. Okay. It looks like we're back to the king. There's... Oh, what? The king died? Are you kidding me? The king died? What? What? I, th I made the king OP. I thought he was gonna survive super long. I, had, I gave him, like, 10,000 health. Um, okay. Well, uh... We, we got pretty close. I'm, maybe when I beef up my king and put some new guys in here, we'll be able to win this. And it's not like they actually won. I mean, even if they win, they just, they just get a nuke. Okay, guys. So, obviously, our, uh, our supreme leader, the Chicken King, he's, uh, he's a little bit underpowered. So, uh... How about we just, uh, do that, you know? Maybe, maybe that's enough health. Maybe, uh, you know, let's keep his damage at a thousand, and let's just put this at maybe, maybe that? I mean, maybe that'll help the Chicken King a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna rerun, re, we, blah, 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 blah. we're gonna rerun this battle, but I wanted to put something else in here. I have one more slot for a unit. Maybe, like, another enemy or something? Um, let me think about this. Okay, I decided that I'm going to put in some uh, some horses, or other words, called cavalry. I'm going to put them in on over here, so I don't know how they're going to like make it all the way across, but we're going to put them over here. There's going to be, let's do 200 horses, and then I move the wild men back a little bit so they can ambush a little bit better, and let's see how this turns out. We know we're going to win because of the chicken king, but let's see if we can defend the king and kill all the orcs before they get to the king. Okay guys, so I may have forgot to put the cavalry on team 1, which is the uh, the king's team. 
but I don't think it's going to matter too much because I think by the time the wild men get there and everything else said and done, the uh, giant orcs are going to be at the Spartans killing them. So, because the cavalry have to go all the way around this, through here, through the water, and then into the castle. So I think by the time that we're going to be like fighting the Spartans and the giant orcs, the cavalry cavalry will come behind the giant orcs and attack them and I don't think it's gonna matter uh, team wise but let's just start the battle we got a wild man on the other side of the water this time so it takes a little bit more time oh the horsemen are they gonna are they gonna run straight through the water uh I think they are what they go straight through the water what they can run on the water Okay, well I guess this works because now they're just going to attack the giant orcs, which is fine. The uh, wild men are going in. The giant orcs are already at the freaking heavy knights. We got a swarm of little, they look like ants almost, coming at the, uh, the, uh, the what are they called? Giant orcs, I forgot it for like two seconds. Okay, we were drawing attention of the giant orcs for a little bit. Got some going up there. The wild men are coming into ambush, which is kind of bad because they are too early because the orcs are all fighting that. These wild men are going to ambush these guys and then they're going to go fight these orcs and help out the cavalry. I don't think the cavalry has killed anyone. Oh, they just killed one. I think that's the first one they killed, so they're, they're getting some down. The wild men are ambushing right now. The giant orcs actually went through a lot of the heavy knights, but we got 300 wild men coming in to help out the cavalry, which is basically dead right now. So, uh, yeah, you know, it's kind of the same outcome as the same battle as the battle last time, but you know, it's different, guys. It's different. I'm going to speed this up a little bit so they don't take forever. A freaking catapults are the worst shot ever. That is the ground, not giant orcs. Fix your aim. Okay, we're killing these guys. The cavalry just died. Wild men are setting up, holding out, holding down this little spot right here, killing a bunch of giant orcs. And then we got our heavy knights to kill. Uh, archers, catapults, and Spartans, and then the king is chilling out in the beginning. Okay, so they're going through the last of the heavy knights, and then they got archers and catapults to kill. The catapults are in a, the worst spot. They're just shooting this wall right here, doing nothing. But once they start coming up the stairs, it should be a lot better. They got through. What the hell? Jesus, is that you? <laughs> There's just like a dark shadow going over. Okay, so they got through and there's actually not a whole lot left. I think the Spartans are going to be strong enough to take out these guys. Yeah, the Spartans are definitely going to be able to take this guys out. I wonder if I nuked the chicken if he would uh survive because he has like a lot of health. We'll test that out after this battle. Just have to kill all of these Spartans and then these are the last orcs. So I think our Spartans are going to be able to be able to come out on top of this and I don't think a little uh, chicken king is gonna have to do anything guys he might be able to just chill out there and be a chicken you know these orcs are getting stopped pretty fast they're not even getting a shot in they're getting like one shot maybe yeah this is the last little bit of the orcs right here wow we actually we actually beat them guys I don't even know what what was so different that one I guess maybe the cavalry or something I, I didn't change anything besides like moving the wild men back and putting these cavalry in, but the cavalry only killed like six people. Yeah, they only killed six people, which was six giant orcs. So I don't think that would have changed a whole lot. I guess I don't know. We just did better. Okay, so let's see if this chicken can survive a nuclear blast. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he can. He's chilling. How much health does he have? Click to possess. Right click to possess. He has a thousand health left. Okay, you're you're a baller, chicken. You are straight up a baller. Look at this. He's just going to walk through the battlefield. Look at this. He's so short that he just walks underneath all the giant orcs' bodies. And he's just going to admire all of his uh, all of his men that died for him in this, uh, in this glorious battle. All these giant orcs sitting around here. And our heavy knights and our wild men and everything like that. And so we know now that the uh, nuke does... How much does the nuke damage do? So wait, we have 10,000 is that? Is that 10,000 or 1,000? I think we have 10,000 health, so the nuke does 9,000 damage. So any unit with 9,000 or more health can survive a nuclear blast. But, sad to say, the chicken cannot survive two nuclear blasts. There's no way. He just popped up into a freaking cloud of feathers. Okay. Well, that was the uh, that was the battle, guys. If you guys have any ideas that you want me to try out with this game, or if you just want me to completely stop playing this game, let me know in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace out.